as I told you in the previous slide, that Foster 1 and Foster 2 form, you definitely have a numerical. So let's see 2017 paper where there was 12 and a half mark question. 1A was on Foster 1, 1B was on Foster 2. The questions are different. You can see very well. But here you are not having the term of S. They are missing. If you expand it, you will have even terms only, even powers only in the numerator and odd powers only in the denominator. Similar is the case here. This definitely means that you are going to get an LC network in the answer. Now let's check out how to solve this question. Since in both A and B we have missing terms, all odd terms missing or all even terms missing in the numerator or denominator, which we'll be later on using as NR and DR. So the first step is to write down ZS over S. Here you will write ZS over S. So this will become S square for A and YS over S for B. So when you write down YS over S, this becomes S square here. The second step is to replace S square by X and then try to find out the partial fraction. How do you find out partial fraction? If the power of the denominator is greater than the power of the numerator, then only you can use partial fraction. Otherwise, you will first divide it, get the power high in the denominator and then resolve it into partial fractions. Finally, you get the value of ZS and YS terms in terms of X, replace X by S square and then whatever terms you are having, ZS and YS, from that, you replace it by the LC network. As I told you, if the terms are missing, then you get LC networks. Now let us do the question quickly. ZS over S, first step, gives you 8 S square plus 1 S square plus 3 divided by S square into S square plus 2 into S square plus 4. So ZS by S is equal to replacing S square by X. 8 into x plus 1 into x plus 3 divided by x into x plus 2 x plus 4. So you are having cubic power in the denominator and quadratic in the numerator. So you can proceed with the partial fraction. So we write it as a over x plus b over x plus 2 plus d over x plus 4. Now the question can come into your mind. Why not c? c has been reserved for the use as capacitance. c. So always in the video, I'll mm, be posting A, B, D, E and so on. So A over X, you want to find out A, put your left finger on X because A is corresponding to X and then put X is equal to 0 here. So 8 into 1 into 3 divided by 2 into 4, that gives you 3. If you want to find out B, that in the denominator you are having x plus 2. So x plus 2 is equal to 0 is going to give you x is equal to minus 2. Put your hand on this x plus 2 and put x is equal to minus 2. So 8 into minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. Minus 2 plus 3 is 1. Minus 2 as it is. And here minus 2 plus 4 gives you 2. On solving this gives you 2. Coming on to D in a similar manner. Put x is equal to minus 4 and you get the result 3. Substitute these values back. So ZS over S becomes 3 over X. And what is X? S square. Plus 2 over S square plus 2. X is S square. S square plus 2. And third one, 3 over S square plus 4. multiply throughout by s you get z is equal to 3 over s plus 2s over s square plus 2 plus 3s over s square plus 4. Now in impedance form 3 over s represents what? The capacitor of how much value? 1 by 3 farad because 3 by s can be written as 1 over 1 by 3 s. 1 over s c. c is 1 by 3. So here 1 by 3. 
Now 2s over s square plus 2. Look into the lookup table. 2s over s square plus 2 was equal to 1 over c into s, s square plus 1 over lc in the denominator, which gives you 1 over c as 2, so c becomes half parent. And L can be found out by equating 1 over LC by 2. L will come out to be 1 Henry. Put these values of half parrot and L 1 Henry here in parallel. So this red colored branch comes from this term. This and this. Now coming on to the last one. 3S over S square plus 4. That is also equal to 1 over C into S divided by S square plus 1 over LC. So that gives you C directly as 1 by 3 parent and L as equal to 3 by 4 Henry. Both of them are in parallel. And the parallel combination of this LC network, the parallel combination of this LC network along with the capacitance gives you the value of ZS. And you have got 6.5 marks. Now let's do the second part in which uh, YS by S as instructed earlier has been written as S square plus 4, S square plus 6, S square plus 3 into S square plus 5. Replacing S square by X, we have X plus 4, X plus 6, X plus 3 and X plus 5 here. But we have to multiply it. Why? Because the powers of the numerator and denominator are same. We should have the power of denominator as lesser than that of numerator. For that, we'll divide once. Dividing it once, you have 1 plus, a remainder comes here, 2X plus 9 over divisor x square plus 8x plus 15. So this gives you 1 plus this whole part x square plus 8x plus 15 has been again written as x plus 3 into x plus 5. And this part you are going to split it into parcel fraction. When a is equal to minus 3 into 2 minus 6 plus 9 that is 3 minus 3 plus 5 that is 2. So 3 by 2. And similarly, x plus 5 per hard worker, x is equal to minus 5 put kiye. So minus 10 plus 9, that is minus 1. Minus 5 plus 3, that is minus 2. So that gives you half. So both these values you put back into the value ys over s is 1 plus 3 by 2 over s square plus 3, putting x as s square. And half over, again, x plus 5 ki jagapar, s square plus 5. So you have ys is equal to s multiply kar throughout s plus 3 by 2 s over s square plus 3 half of s over s square plus 5. There are three terms. So you will have in the final answer three sections, all of them in parallel. Now s is going to give you capacitance of one farad. You can have a look at the lookup table. For resistance R, Ys is equal to 1 over R. For inductance, it is 1 over SL. For capacitance, it is uh, SC. And it is advisable to write down every time on the left or right side of the blank sheet so that you don't make a mistake. So C comes out to be 1 farad. Now, this 1 over L into S over S square plus 1 over LC. Either you can remember the result or you can do it right at that point. So 1 over L is equal to 3 by 2 so L becomes 2 by 3 Henry and 1 over LC is 3 so that is going to give you C is equal to half Farad. So both of them are in series. Similarly this is a series combination this YS value and L comes out to be 2 Henry and C comes out to be 1 by 10 Farad. All these branches are in parallel and you get another 6.5 marks.